Uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. Um, in this uh, session, I will continue on our our chapter. Last week, we have learned several techniques for arc segmentation and arc extraction, and now we will uh, uh, continue on to the other techniques. So, uh, for the first part, we will uh, talk about the ISO, da ISO data segmentation. So ISO data means iterative self-organizing data analysis technique algorithm. So in the ISO data segmentation, we are using uh, iterative uh, ISO data line fit clustering procedure. So uh, it will be used to determine determine line fit parameters. So um, based on the line fit parameter, then each point assigned to the cluster whose line fit closest to the point. So in the ISO data segmentation, uh, after determining the line fit uh, parameter, then uh, we each of a point that has been assigned uh, we will, will be clustered to the closest uh, fit to the to the closest uh, fit point. Uh, So this is um, one of the example for the ISO data segmentation that uh, it, uh, it is iterative process that um, from the beginning uh, we will based on the closest uh, fit point it will be uh, it will be assigned based on the closest fit point as shown in this figure that iteratively it will be update the parameter so. Finally, we, we will get a segmentation based on the closest fit point. <coughs> For the uh, shooter code, uh, it is uh, the same what we have uh, mentioned that we, we, we do the iterative process uh, and, and we will get the, we will update the parameter until we get the closest fit point. So finally, we, we will get the uh, segment, segmentation data. So. For the next part will be about the curvature. Uh, the curvature K is defined at a point of arc length S along the curve by uh, delta S and delta theta. So delta S indicate the change in arc length and delta theta, theta uh, the change in the tangent angle. So to, to get the curvature, um, uh, it will be using this equation. So based on this equation and delta theta is here and delta s here, then we can get the, the curvature location. So for the curvature, uh, it can be uh, divided into the natural cur curvature breaks that curvature maxima and minima and curvature passes that through zero local shape change from the convex to the concave. And for the curvature, there, there are several types. So for example, like surface elliptic, that when, when limb in a line drawing is convex and sur surface hyperbolic when its limb is concave and surface uh, parabolic wherever curvature of limb is limb zero. Uh, this is the example that this part is a limb, ter limb terminate concavely and this one is convexity, this one is zero curvature and this one is concave, concavity. So, based on uh, such, a, based on those equation, we can define the the, the, the curvature. Um, for the next part that we will talking about is about the Hopf transform. Um, the Hopf transform is a method for det detecting stri straight lines and curve on a gray level image. So basically, Hopf transform is a template matching, and the in the Hopf transform, uh, we in the Hopf transform it requires an accumulator array whose dimension correspond to the number of unknown parameters in the equation of the family of curves being shown. So uh, Hopf transform is one to uh, detect the straight straight planes and curves and. We we usually require an uh, accumulator array so that we can uh, we can uh, more uh, accurately detecting the straight lines or a curve on a gray level image. So basically, it's also template matching. 
So this is uh, for example, is a example finding straight line segment that for the line equation is defined as this equation, and then this is the point, and then this is the slope, and then is the intercept p. So we want to uh, get the get the line get the line line segment. So this is the example uh, uh, by 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 using the line equation, uh, we can we can get a uh, we can get a we can get a straight line from a two two segments. So so here uh, this is the example that uh, by using this uh, equation we can get a line segment in here and here and here. Oops. here. So this is the another example that the same that we want to find out the line equation. So uh, for this one, we can get the line equation in this direction, and then this will be the line equation in this direction. <coughs> so for uh, finding the strike line segment, uh, usually vertical lines, when well m is uh, infinite, it will be it it it, is un it doesn't work, and then there's another parameter that d, which is the perpendicular distance from line to the origin and the theta the angle the, per the perpendicular makes with the x-axis column so um, this is the other ways to uh, to to finding the strike line segment that uh, we also can use this equation so by using this equation uh, we, we we can uh, we can uh, use it to estimate the line the line segment. <coughs> this is just another illustration of the whole transform. And this is also the uh, comparison that the A uh, the A image is the infrared image and then the B is the gradient image and then this is the host transform and then D is link link a pixel. So this is a uh, the the illustration about the uh, house transform and this is another example to find out the uh, uh, find out the straight line uh, by using this equation so suppose uh, we have this one and then we we can uh, use it uh, this information of R and C into this uh, Parameter to get the, the value in each uh, in, in in each position. So based on this value here, it later will be uh, uh, used to estimate the accumulator array, and then later on will be used to um, to estimate the strike line. So in this one, R will be based on the uh, index here. So here is the process one. And then C is the other index here, so we just uh, put this position, and then based on this equation, uh, we can gather uh, each value in in several angle. So this one, uh, after we got the accumulator array, we can uh, have like uh, this table that how many numbers uh, are uh, available. Available in such a degree, so we have uh, this this table, and then after that we will use this table as a as a help to find out the strike line. Okay, so for example here, while in the position of a uh, negative forty five degrees and uh, ninety degrees, they have uh, some the same number here three and three. So we have uh, some. Uh, straight line here and here so yeah this is the accumulator array is really helpful uh, to to have to help to estimate the 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 strike line okay so this is uh, just uh, another uh, graph to uh, explaining about accumulator array for finding strike line segment in image of a size 256 times 256 so this is the illustration 
about the accumulator array. 256. Yeah. 256 times 256. Yes. And another one. So right now, um, uh, Ryan, Eto, Zizario, uh, Yanta is uh, presenting uh, chapter 11. And uh, um, later, we will vote uh, 11, 9, and uh, 10, and also the um, 7 and 8. OK, so I, I'll tell the presenter to uh, uh, um, uh, stand up later. OK, so this is uh, 10,080, OK? Um, so, OK. Okay, 1090. So the uh, presenter getting the highest vote will get the uh, 1090 and uh, will get the um, A plus uh, 100 points in this class. Okay, so uh, we will have the um, uh, computer vision uh, final uh, at uh, this room 103. Or uh, uh, we also have another room, uh, so it's uh, the same as the uh, midterm. So uh, if you are me if you take midterm here or in the other room, then uh, you just go to your room, okay? And the time is uh, 2 20 to uh, 5 20 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, January the tw uh, 12th, uh, which is uh, next uh, Tuesday, okay? So the uh, range will be from page 303 to uh, January 1st, uh, to, uh, uh, what covers uh, uh, today are uh, inclusive, okay? Uh, any questions? Okay, if no question, uh, we are going to have the um, uh, excellent uh, teaching assistant uh, survey uh, right now. Uh, so please uh, fill in the excellent uh, prof uh, teaching assistant survey. Uh, so uh, we will pass uh, the survey uh, now. Uh, you can play a, a, a joke. Um, for the other part, in, in the last part, we have learned about the finding the strike line from a segment. So uh, this one is for finding a circle. In the finding of a circle, there are many parameters. Uh, R is row and C is column. R O is a row. R0 is row coordinate of the center. Uh, C0 is the column coordinate of the center. And then D is the radius. And then uh, and for the implicit equation for a circle is defined uh, as here that will be r uh, subtract with r zero r, r minus r zero r r, mi r minus r r zero square then uh, c minus c zero oh, okay. uh, plus plus c minus c zero square so this is the implicit equation for the for the circle so um, so from the yeah, from the implicit uh, equation for the circle, we can get that r uh, is can be defined uh, as r, 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 r equals to r, r zero plus p sine theta, and then c is the c zero plus, uh, c equals c zero plus d cos theta. So this is for the finding a circle. Cosine theta. Uh, cosine theta. <laughs> And for the extension, the, in the Hull's transfer method, can be extended to any curve with uh, analytic equation analytic. with the analytic equation yeah, analytic. of the form uh, f x x factor, x factor co comma a a factor uh, mm -hmm. equals to zero, where x factor denote an image point, and a factor is a factor of parameters. Um, okay, so. The other part um, well, is about the line fitting. In the line fitting, um, it has also several parameters. The first parameter is to point before the noisy pertur perturbation, uh, which has uh, two parameters, Rn, Cn. And then it lie on the line uh, alpha Rn plus beta Cn plus gamma uh, equals to zero. and for the noise observe observe value, uh, it is uh, defined as r hat n comma c hat n, where r hat n uh, equals to r n plus uh, c n, and then c hat n is equal to c n plus uh, eta n. So, for the 
uh, C N and then uh, eta N uh, is an independent and identical distributed with a mean zero and a variance uh, uh, theta square sigma square. Sigma square. Yeah, sigma square. So in here, uh, one the uh, for the line fitting, one of the uh, important parameter is the theta n and uh, eta eta n. So for the line fitting, uh, the procedure for the least square fitting of the line, it aims to observe the noisy value and uh, it principally uh, it's a principle uh, want to minimize the square residual under the constraint that uh, so it want to minimize the square re residual under the constraint that uh, alpha hat square plus uh, beta hat square uh, equals to one and it will be it minimized uh, based on uh, this equation uh, for the with a subject to the a a a hat square plus beta alpha hat, uh, alpha, alpha hat square plus beta hat square equal to the one equal to ones, and uh, from that one we can get we can use the lay long Lagrange Lagrange multiplier form uh, which is defined uh, in this form in this formula. Uh, this is uh, another uh, extension uh, how to how to perform the Lagrange Lagrange multiplier. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, by using like a partial derivative of epsilon and with respect to the uh, with a respect to the uh, gamma, uh, partial derivative of gamma, gamma equal to zero, then we can get such uh, uh, condition. So finally, uh, with a with a letting that with a letting that mu uh, mu hat r and mu hat c as uh, as a this follow, we can get uh, uh, this 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 equation, and from that one we we, we can uh, updating by this part, and finally. Uh, uh, the partial derivative can be further like updated uh, with respect to the uh, alpha hat, and then for this one, the uh, partial derivative of epsilon can be uh, can be updated with respect to the beta beta hat with respect to zero in this form, and we can get this uh, formula. And this is just the extension. That after that, we can. Uh, get uh, this condition and finally uh, it will be uh, in this part and for the other extension is about the principal axis curve fit in the principal axis curve fit um, uh, the principal axis curve fit is obviously a generali generalization of the line fitting idea so the curve of uh, zero uh, equals to f uh, fr comma c and the curve of zero is defined as uh, this equation and for the for the example for the conics uh, it will be uh, defined as this uh, as this uh, condition so that why we can uh, we can have a, such a function as this follow So the next one is the uh, uh, the curve zero, zero is like this follow and if we uh, minimize this function to the subject of uh, a hat k square uh, equals to one in here then finally the mi minimi minim minimize uh, function minimizing, minimizing uh, uh, function can epsilon be uh, minimizing epsilon square can be uh, uh, can be updated and then can be defined as this equation and the the other part is the region of support determination in the region of support determination there are two okay, oh, okay.
uh, uh, the next one uh, which is related into the region of super determination in the region of super determination uh, there are there are two conditions uh, if a region super is too large or if a region of two sport is too small uh, in a, if a region to sport region of support is too large is usually find uh, features smooth out and for the region of support too small uh, uh, in many corners point or dominant point it will be produced so that's uh, a, a two condition that mostly uh, happen in the region of super determination so in the so here uh, from the uh, previous work from pay Tay and Jin, uh, they uh, in their uh, proposed method, they uh, they want they in their uh, study they calculate D D I K and then uh, L I K until they until reaching this condition. So this is will be uh, related into the distance that to find out the maximum distance until uh, uh, until until reach such a condition in here and for the region of super then uh, it will be uh, compute uh, in this following uh, uh, following equation but the, but in their study they they uh, propose this condition to estimate the dik D, to, to estimate the dik for for the other part, which is the robust line fitting, in the robust line fitting, uh, it will fit in, sen in sensitivity to a few outlier points, and it it will give a least square formulation first, and then it modified to make it look robust. So we have to estimate the least square formulation, and uh, from the uh, estimate least square least square formulation it will be uh, uh, updated or modified until uh, we achieve the more the, the more optimal uh, the more optimal parameter and for the parameter in the robust line, line fitting uh, have uh, this uh, a hat a, uh, alpha hat b beta hat and then gamma hat here so uh, it will be uh, uh, it will be uh, we want to minimize it in the subject of this uh, condition so we will uh, keep it keep it updating until uh, we find out the most optimum uh, parameter based on this equation so if it correct correctly solved then it will be uh, uh, converts but it will be wrong result and then it will be also the outlier which is uh, which is uh, under different uh, well, different position. <coughs> so, uh, so in the weighted least square sense, uh, usually uh, it will be uh, the same that subject to the uh, oops, P one here, but uh, in here they have uh, the weighted uh, parameter that the weighted parameter is defined. Uh, here and uh, it will be uh, in each of a weighted parameter is uh, have this condition if the um, if it's uh, if this condition is uh, required by uh, this part then it will be uh, here but if if it if it doesn't uh, 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 doesn't uh, Require, uh, doesn't achieve this condition then it would be uh, giving a zero zero score here for the each for for this parameter so this is for the robust line fitting in the weighted sense um, this is the yeah, the next one this which is a uh, related into the least square curve fitting in the least square curve fitting it it aims to determine uh, uh, sorry it, it means to determine the parameter of the curve that minimize the sum the sum of the square distance between the noise observer point and the curve so it it wants to uh, minimize between the noise observe observe point with the curve and 
in in here the minimization uh, minimis minimization process is uh, based on this equation with a subject to this condition so uh, it will be keeping uh, minimized until uh, until uh, got the, the most optimum uh, result this is just a uh, uh, just the uh, uh, plotting plotting uh, information. If uh, we have a uh, this part, uh, this minimizing parameter with the subject to uh, this function, it will be giving for like this uh, like like this uh, plot diagram. And here is another one that without a uh, subject to the, the without subject to some parameter, then it will be giving this uh, diagram. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I would take this uh, short break. Uh, yeah. uh, break until uh, uh, three thirty. Yeah.